What's up guys? This is Yasa. Welcome back to my channel. You're watching Yasa's Fit Frag. Today I'm going to talk about 14 different fragrances that I use as part of layering. So if you haven't watched my previous video on layering, please do watch that because that's very important to know that you shouldn't layer two different fragrances over each other. That's not what I follow. I use different fragrances at different spots of my clothes or skin so that it doesn't get mixed up and spoil the whole formulation so it's important that you spray them at different spots and then enjoy the combined feel of two or three different fragrances so today there are 14 fragrances that i use for layering doesn't mean that i use all 14 at one go i usually try layering two or at the max three so stay tuned to watch indeed so let's get started the first one would be, and it's not, when I say first one, it's not my top favorite. I'm going to put the top favorite in the end, okay? It's Hugo Boss, Just Different, and Fabulous King by Monster. I cannot find that bottle, unfortunately. So Fabulous King is Tom Ford, Fabulous inspired version. So if you have any fragrance that has a smoky amber, then you can layer that with Hugo, Just Different, okay? They both go very well, so you can try that combination. The other one is Nishane Fanio Flames and Ajmal's Musk Rijali. Now, Musk Rijali is something which you can actually layer with many fragrances because this is just plain musk, which gives the smell of skin slightly woody and musky. Okay, and Nishane Fanio Flames is tobacco and rum combination. This really goes well, so you can try that as well, but Nishane Fanio Flames is not something that most of you would have. But in case you have, you can definitely check that one out. The other one is CH212 VIP and Black Access by Pakuraban, which is the old formulation. Now these two, these two really go well. This one I use it on clothes, this one on my neck, okay? And the combination is really nice and it works out really well. The other one is Carolina Herrera's CH1, which is a leather fragrance and Lome Libre by Isolorum. Now, this is not similar to Lanoui de Lome. This is completely different. This has a nice soft leather along with violets and patchouli. Okay, so it's a very different fragrance. Goes all around the year, but I usually prefer going with this and this as a combination this i wear it on my shoulders and my neck and this on this particular area and at the back it works out really well guys you can check it out now the last three are my favorites now you can keep a special watch and these actually give me compliments number three would be rasasi oud al mitali which is a raspberry and mild oud sort of fragrance there is no real skanky oud there is nice cedar wood sandalwood and a hint of wood with that raspberry note beautiful fragrance you can always layer with ajmal oud hayate this is a smoky sandalwood cedar wood cambodian sort of oud very beautiful i love this one and it performs really good smells like very natural wood so the wood here and wood here actually combines really well with that nice touch of raspberry sweetness so these two combination really works out well i love wearing this one I enjoy it myself as well and it performs really good. The other one is Afia's Tobacco Oud, which is one of my most favorite inspired version of Tobacco Oud. There is no other inspired version which I love as much as this one. Afia Tobacco Oud along with Royal Shake by Ajmal. Okay, Royal Shake by Ajmal is a Bakar Rouge 540 DNA. This and this tobacco wood really works out well, guys. I use this other inside my shirt that is on my body. I just apply it and then wear my shirt. And this I go on the shirt, okay, on the clothes. And trust me, guys, this, the, the combination of both, it projects really nice, like three to four feet. Because I wore this to office and I was surprised that my managing director came up to me and said, I can smell you from here and it sm really smells nice. So he was about three feet away and I was really surprised by that guys because he's not somebody who would appreciate Arabic sort of fragrance but I think in the air this was magical. You can definitely try this one. Ajmal Royal Atar Sheikh and Tobacco Oud by Afia. Beautiful fragrance. 
and coming at number one the combination is again from Afia which is black saffron I know many don't like this but this is magical in the dry down even if you personally don't enjoy it trust me this creates magic in the dry down that is I'm talking about after five hours six hours because I get compliments in the 10th and 12th hour with this one so it's a little complicated when you smell it up close many wouldn't like this but in the air this is magical and it performs really nice this is something which you can layer with performs de Marley Carlyle okay both these go really well and I got compliments from office from two different colleagues and I was surprised again because I thought this is a little Middle Eastern touch so it is not this goes completely Western in a very rich and niche style this obviously is niche so Carlyle and black saffron beautiful combination so you can definitely try that one out so that's about it I hope you enjoyed this video let me know which other fragrance that you try as part of your layering technique so not everything would suit this is what I mentioned in the previous video as well you need to experiment and all of these that I'm talking today are based on my experiments and I'm picking out only those that worked out well so that's about it I hope you enjoyed the video let me know in case you've tried any of these comment down in the comment section see you next time soon keep sharing the videos cheers